Welcome to the December 10th, 2019 special meeting of the City of Glendale Arts and Culture Commission. May I have roll call, please? Commissioners Oshagon? Yes. Tufankian? Yes. Vice Chair Zadorian? Yes. Chairperson Vidor? Yes. Item. Are I'm so sorry. The agenda, for the, yeah. <laughs> the agenda for the December 10th, 2019 special meeting was posted on the December 9th, 2019 on the bulletin board outside City Hall. Okay. At, <laughs> item two, discussion item. At 2A, planning session for the Urban Art Program Plan Community Urban Update Meeting on January 9th, 2020. Uh, so um, just for the public's sake, the reason we're having this meeting is because we had decided that um, in January, January 9th, uh, at 7 o'clock in the Central Library Auditorium, uh, we would host a general meeting to which the public would be invited, and it would be in the format of a regular commission meeting because we will all be there, but rather than go through a formalized agenda, we would present uh, the status of the urban art plan, where we've been, where we're going, and take questions and have discussions with the public. So it's a little bit broader in scope than a commission meeting in that respect. Um, and we're here to plan the agenda for that meeting. Um, any comments from staff? Um, well, uh, I will let the um, felt my fellow commissioners know uh, that I, um, I met, as usual, uh, to plan for this meeting <laughs> with um, uh, Dr. Schaefer and um, uh, Ms. Fukumoto Jones, and we um, we came up with a rather than sit here and say, "Oh, gee, what should we do?" Uh, at the meeting, we came up with a, a draft proposed agenda for which we will discuss and review. And if we need to make changes, we certainly will. But at least we have something to start with. Um, so I'll just quickly run through that, and then like. You know, this is the presentation of the proposed agenda, and then we'll discuss it and make revisions. So because it is a real formal meeting with Brown Act provisions, uh, we will be in the auditorium, but the meeting will be called to order, uh, as it usually is, with the same announcements. And then um, as chair, I will do um, a welcome uh, and introduction, including um, people who are in the audience that need to be introduced, as well as yourselves, um, and then um, we will recap what the purpose of the meeting is, and here it is, and this is where we'll get into a discussion and decide what we want to do. Um, so the first thing would be uh, for me to give a simple statement of um, the overall strategy and vision of the commission, and I'm going to, I propose to focus on the fact that we want Glendale to be, uh, become a destination an arts destination, that's our vision, and that we would do that by engaging not only people from outside, but people in the city who often come here to live and sleep and work, but go elsewhere for artistic purposes. So this would not just be to bring people in, but to keep people here. Um, and then after that, um, it would be turned over to staff to talk about what we've done since the plan was adopted and where we're going. Um, in 2020 and beyond. And then commissioners' comments, which is usually the final agenda item, would allow each commissioner to speak and say what they want to say. And then what would normally be oral communications will be turned into kind of a Q&A session where people, because it's a large crowd and people aren't used to being there, and hopefully we'll have a big crowd, that people would be um, given cards where they could fill out their question if they wanted to remain anonymous and have it be read, or they will come up to a microphone and engage. Um, and then there would be a conclusion statement by the staff and an adjournment. The meeting will be adjourned. And that was the idea, the concept. So um, it's here in this little handout. And having said that, I'd like to turn it over to the commission for comments and suggestions. So who wants to start? Uh, yeah, I'll be happy to start. Okay. Um, you know, uh, 
I remember, so the first meeting we had like this, uh, which was really made to be much more sort of interactive, right, in terms of uh, what was really effective, I think, uh, in that meeting was that we broke up. We had a lot of people come, and I think we had really cars to thank for that, to bring all these people from all over Glendale. Um, and outside, actually, people came from outside of Glendale for this meeting. And we were able, we broke up into different groups, and each group was able to interact very freely with the different aspects of art that we wanted to address. So I think that format was, was, worked really well um, last time. And so we now kind of, this, this, this agenda, I think it's really good. It's a little bit formal, though, in my opinion. Um, where you just have presentation and then question and answer. So I think it would be maybe if we could slip in here a breakout into groups, perhaps, uh, you know, in the commissioner comments section. So all this, all this is very good. I think the recap and the presentation by the staff, uh, your presentation, Arlene. We're not talking about long presentations either. We're talking about pretty collapsed summary. Yeah, I'm assuming, so yeah. So that then, right, and so then when you break out into groups, then you can get more into depth. For instance, somebody who's really interested in neighborhood arts, like one of the commissioners or one of the staff, I, I, you know, can, can speak about that to a group, and they can ask questions and interact and give ideas, you know, expand sort of the conversation in that direction rather than just having question and answer and then and that. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be my, my, first, my first reaction was that about this, because that's what we did it last time. I think it was really effective and we were really, really able to, and Barbara then, you know, that was before the, the PAMP was created, and Barbara was able to incorporate full all those ideas that were presented into it, mm -hmm. into the actual plan. Mm -hmm. And so I think going forward, I think that would make sense mm -hmm. for us to do it that way. Uh, Madam Chair, Commissioner Oshagon, yeah. um, so what would you propose as topics? It sounds like part of Barbara's work last time was that's kind of how we got to the topics. So if we were to do a breakout group and each commissioner took a breakout group and led it, what would the topics be? So it could be the different areas of art, public art we want to bring to Glendale, like neighborhood arts, citywide arts, uh, the plan to bring a permanent uh, of art piece to Glendale. So we have four or five different categories of public art that we want to uh, address and, and bring to Glendale in the next few years. So each one could be a different one. And so would people just um, uh, kind of pick which one they're most interested in? And Yeah. And last time actually it happened that way and then people would switch groups when they saw, okay, they had a question about this, this question. So I can't remember what the groups were last time. Um, Quite, but but so people shifted from group to group two. If they wanted to, they got their question answered. They moved on to another one. They thought that was also interesting. Hello. Yeah. So it was much more interactive. I would say. I mean, we don't have to do it that way, but I think. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we don't. Clearly, we don't have to do it that way. But I think an in, a more interactive uh, dimension of this meeting, I think, would really um, help us in connecting to the public and. You know, having people connect to what we're doing. That would, that's my initial uh, hmm. reaction. I, um, so is there going to be an official agenda for the meeting to hand out to folks who are sitting in the crowd? Yeah. Okay. I think and it would be in the, if I could just interrupt for a minute, I would hope it would be not in an, you know, in this type of format, that it would just look like a program and be a uh, little Unfortunately, bit Madam Chair, it has, it has to be, because it oh. is a official okay. commission. It's a special meeting, oh, it's a right. commission meeting, so. Because I don't remember us doing that the, uh, with the Barbara Goldstein meetings, but, but that's fine. I mean, the main thing is to get, to get the program out. Like, what are we here for? And immediately people know what the evening is going to be. I think predictability in that respect is really important. So, um, the second Sorry. question was, I know it's a little last minute because this is January 9th, but do we have any plan, a pamphlet or flyer of some kind of literature to be handing out to folks about the plan and what we've done possibly? Rather than just like speaking to them, they have something in front of them that they can see. Mm -hmm. So we have um, email blasts that are being sent out. One is going to be sent this week and then another one in December and then another one in January. So three email blasts total. 
We also have a GTV6 promo that's been playing, um, promoting the event. We have uh, an Eventbrite link where people can RSVP when they receive the Save the Date. And we also have a Do LA and a Facebook event page. Uh, we're working on hard copy flyers, but those are the social media kind of promotions that we have right now. So you are working on a hard mm -hmm. copy. Okay. Will there be a press release? Yes, we're working on a press release right. as well. Okay. Oh, who will that be distributed to? So we have, uh, the, it goes to the Public Information Office. So Chuck Weick is the person that uh, composes the, the actual press release, and then it gets sent to the Public Information Office. Um, but I'm, what I'm referring to is, does it only circulate throughout, like, City of Glendale, or does that go to, like, Glendale News Press uh, and other media outlets? I believe it does, but I can double check with, okay. with Chuck on the list as well. Thank you. Go ahead. Sorry. That's all I have as of right now. Um, once we start getting to the, the, the nitty gritty, I yes. I'll have more questions. Okay. Yeah, Caroline, I think they both covered. So. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, you're no, I you're going to wait. What I was going to okay. say. So. Okay. Um, so I'll make comments on these comments. Um, I um, I think I I agree with you that it should be interactive and it should be have a feeling, even though we're in a formal meeting, of informality, so people come out of it feeling like they're engaged in the process and we're not just talking at them. Um, because we were forming the urban art program plan initially and trying to actually draft the plan and that was the reason for the initial input, I think the depth into which we broke out was more, had a more weight to it back then because of its importance in developing the plan. For this purpose, it seems like we should spend a little time up front on saying where we are and make it concise, but, but do that and where we intend to go so that if people want to say, that's great, this is what I think, or that's ridiculous, I want to tell you what I think, um, that at least they know where we're at. Because some people I have found through recent experience in talking to, to some folks say, whatever happened to the urban art program plan? Did it, get, did it ever get adopted? They don't even know that anything's been going on because they just haven't been engaged. So um, for me, item number 3AB, um, well, mostly you, you CD, two. is extremely important. And um, you know, to remind people of what we've been doing and what we've been working with over the last year and a half. So, but I, I hear you, and I think your point's important. Oh, I completely agree. Number two, I think, is really critical to do it, and I think it's done in, in, in the right way, the way it should be done. But for instance, we could combine three and four into these breakout groups, mm -hmm. uh, right, instead of commissioner comments and the question and answer. I mean, they're, they're, that's exactly what that is. It's a, it's a way for people to interact, but I'm saying, so three and four would be a little bit different, or we could break out into different groups and then ask, mm -hmm. You know, people can now that after number two, so they'll know what we've done and where we're going. Then they can interact and make make comments and questions and suggestions that we could take. Mm -hmm. So I think, and also, there were note takers. We should, if we do that into breakout groups, each group should have its own note taker, besides the, the person who mm -hmm. leads the group, so that we have notes as exactly what was said, so that we can also incorporate that. Well, if we do that. Um, <coughs> I think we need to kind of decide we're going to do that and the next step in planning this would be to look at three and four and how we're going to reconfigure it and exactly because this makes the meeting more logistically complicated and we, we can't afford to not do it right and to waste time so we have to figure out exactly what we're going to do now. So with that in mind I guess it's probably a good idea to I mean, we don't have to take a vote, but agree informally that we want to do that and then work on what the breakouts are going to be, how we're going to break people out, are they going to be in different rooms, different places, what do we need, and then what the, most importantly, what are the topics for the breakouts and who's going to be the moderator and what is the end result to communicate the results of the breakouts, how are we going to handle that, because if we get a lot of great input from the breakouts, which is the whole purpose of doing them, then we need to report on them. And the question then becomes, do we report at the meeting? Do we report later? Who reports? How is the report 
assembled so that everybody who went knows what happened in those four or five breakouts. So we should figure that out now. So let's have a discussion about that unless, does anybody on staff want to comment or uh, about this? Um, I would just um, suggest where we have one room, the auditorium, it's large at the central mm -hmm. library. Uh, the groups could go to uh, kind of the four corners, if you will, of the mm -hmm. auditorium. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, the four commissioners present today could each take a group and you could center it on the groups that you, uh, kind of what the, the work plan has kind mm -hmm. of identified, as mm -hmm. well as the urban art program plan. And that's primarily because <clears throat> whatever input, we, we can always make changes, but we have a plan, and that plan takes us yes, through and we 2020. Stick with so, it. Mm -hmm. so that would be one way to do it. Um, you know, we can have we have a couple staff, and we're willing to serve as note takers. But I don't know that I have four staff uh, to do that. So that's just something. Uh, and then uh, the fifth commissioner, who has not yet been confirmed, uh, will be by that point. But I, because she's so new. I would recommend she can just walk around the different groups or something like mm -hmm. that. Okay. So perhaps we could have whiteboards. Does anybody have any suggestions or thoughts on to the logistics and how we do this breakout? Yeah, I think I, I agree with, uh, with Gary. I think it's a good way of, a really good way of doing it. And I think the approach should be, we have this plan. We have this breakdown. We're not changing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the neighborhood, neighborhood arts. We have... Uh, the big uh, permanent art, we have the citywide. So this this structure that we've decided that we've uh, from the PAMP is not changing, but we want people to give us input on the individual parts. Mm -hmm. right? So what so, are the four uh, breakout sessions? Let's list them here so that we can get them into the minutes. So per, per the per the per work plan, the four yeah. topics are citywide arts, neighborhood mm -hmm. arts, performing arts, and arts and cultural events. So the, the iconic art that you're talking iconic about would, would fit under citywide arts. Okay. Um, so oh. permanent fit into huh? those Yeah, city, citywide arts, that's where the iconic art, so to speak, comes into the picture. Neighborhood arts, uh, performing arts, and arts and cultural events. And then I think for the purpose of everybody, especially the people who aren't really engaged in this, um, we have a brief explanation or take lift the language right out of the plan really if we can do that as to what this what that means like right now four breakout groups and people will, will, will hear this citywide arts neighborhood arts blah 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 and they'll go well, what's that so there needs to be something something there right so I, I, I envision you you presenting in number two sort of these ideas are presented Right, these are the, the four categories that we're going to mm -hmm. bring art together. Yeah, we'll warm up the group. Yeah. Yeah. And then when we break out, each commissioner uh, will go more into details what mm -hmm. that means. So mm -hmm. what we're planning or what we envision, mm -hmm. you know, what that, mm -hmm. that part section is. And, and then for, it goes into a discussion. And okay. I think maybe in the, in the agenda we could also categorize them and give a brief description. Mm -hmm. each one. Yep, we can for the breakout yep. part. Yeah. Um, I just want to make a comment here, and then we'll we'll keep going around till we finish. There there are some people from the public here, and if we can open up a public hearing, if we want to. Um, so I just wanted to make you aware of that. That if anybody's out there who wants to say something, let us know, and we'll open up the public hearing. Is that okay? Um, Madam Chair, uh, folks can comment on what we're discussing now, but that's what they'd be limited to. Yes, that's what I mean, not okay. general oral communications, the agenda item, yeah. Um, so if, submit a card if you would like to speak and we will open up the public hearing. So let's have another uh, round of suggestions on the breakout sessions here. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. So um, I don't know if you guys remember that time, We I don't know if Caroline was there, but we discussed at Brand Library, everybody kind of went up, gave their idea of what they thought was good, and then we kind of all together um, made a decision. So if we did it where these groups that break up, we are actually the ones kind of taking the notes since there might not be enough staff. We're writing down the major points, and then when we reconvene with the entire um, group as a whole, we can kind of present what recommendations were made to, to everybody. So everyone's aware. And then, uh, let's say, if 
Jennifer's there, she would take the notes of what we state. So we'd be in charge of our own groups and um, presenting those notes later mm -hmm. so that it's not complicated for a staff member mm -hmm. to be in each group. If that, how so does that sound? If, if I understand you correctly, we'd say, I'm just guessing here, a half an hour in our breakouts, and then we call the end of it, and every gr all of the four groups would get up and show a summary of their, yeah, like or say yeah. something. I don't know about, about thirty minutes. That might might be a bit much, but uh, something along those lines. Yeah. yeah, not thirty minutes to explain what you discovered. Yeah. Thirty minutes to talk. Uh, Is that too much? Uh, I would probably agree with um, uh, the commissioner that probably twenty minutes would 20. be. Ample. Um, of, uh, and then we don't have whiteboards, but we do have um, easels with, you know, yeah. the white I paper so. that could then be stuck up on the wall, um, mm -hmm. you know, and then. Okay. Whiteboards. I'm just wondering. Last time, actually, if I could, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. this informs this kind of discussion. We wanted to do that. So we broke up into four groups, mm -hmm. maybe five, I can't quite remember. And then we were supposed to reconvene and represent these ideas. but. What happened effectively was that uh, people started just kind of milling about after the groups ended, and then sort of the meeting just kind of ended, and we didn't really go back. Well, and there wasn't present anything in the program about that. That, that, that was the plan, remember. anyway, and and just so kind of didn't it, it didn't work. So if we want to make that happen, we have to make sure that no, we need a timekeeper. Time structure. We need, we need a timekeeper. We need to time how long we're going to be in our groups call time when time is up, and summarize. Also, last time, were they all in one room? No, yeah, we, we were at the ARC. Two. We were at the ARC, remember? And then mm -hmm. some of them we were a group. We different rooms? Yeah. Well, ARC had the back space where it was a divider was there. Yeah. So some people went to the back. Some groups stayed at the front where the initial presentations were made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think in this case, where we'll all be in the same auditorium, it might be, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, I mean, if we put it on the, if we, we should stick to it. I'm saying, I think we had, that was the plan last time, and somehow, because also probably last time, it took a long time. It was much more free flowing, where actually people were given time to uh, write ideas on stickies, I think, if I was right. Yeah, the sticky thing, the sticky I think, thing, is not. Yeah, so this is going to be a little bit, <laughs> this is going to be more formal. So maybe yes. we do 20 minutes, like Dr. Schaefer suggested, and then, um, come back, it's, but the thing is it's difficult to summarize, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I, I well, found that I it was going to be difficult I, to summarize I, those ideas. I think we don't, summar, we, we can't finish this off at the meeting. No. After 20 minutes, people get some time to make their list, everybody presents their list, and then the action items so that we keep the audience engaged because we don't want to just end it there and everybody goes away and maybe a year later they, we we poke them again, that they're going to get a report, they're going to hear a report later, a comprehensive report after all of the data and information has been reduced. And that cannot happen at this meeting. That's too complicated, I, I think. Right. Absolutely. I think the closest we can get is to have each leader of each group make a list of the relevant items, and then the staff and the commission will um, form it into a cohesive report, but that there's no time to do the cohesive report at the meeting. Yeah, so, no, I agree. So, go ahead. I think we should also let them know where and how they can get that report. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, that so has that to be part be of it. No, that's part of it, to have a hook to come back and to stay engaged. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, are there any so, cards or? Wait, so if I can, so I think we should, so uh, each, each group will break out and then come back and at least present some of the ideas that were presented that are relevant, right? Well, the commis mm -hmm. Just commissioners should do the it commissioner. and include yeah. their own comments in it so that you're yeah. intertwining. Yeah. Especially because, and that was the idea, especially because, for instance, if I go to performance, and, but I want to know something about uh, citywide arts, mm -hmm. and I didn't make it over to that group, I want to know what that group was saying, right? So, so we'll share this the will, data from all the groups at the end. It, yeah, but, and quickly, the commissioners will quickly, present And then that. later on, there'll be a the more late, comprehensive presentation. Right, you can't, right. yes. Okay. We have to leave the core comprehensive thing for later. Sure, yeah. Um, so can we um, uh, adjourn the discussion temporarily and open a public hearing? 
No? It, yeah, it's just comments. It's not a it's, public yeah, hearing. Oh, okay. Well, to me, if the audience speaks, that's what I've always been trained to call it, a public hearing. Okay. All right. So, first commenter is Alyssa Glickman. Thank you. Hi, good morning. It's still morning, morning. right? Morning. I'm Elisa Glickman. I'm the CEO of Glendale Arts, uh, the management company of the Alex Cedar, and we do a host of community events here. Um, this is very exciting. Um, as I think Commissioner Vidor mentioned previously, a lot of times we do strategic plans in the community. They end up in a desk drawer and you never see them again. So I think the fact that this commission and Library Arts and Culture has taken a lead in making sure that the public is aware that the plan is being worked on to the extent and ability that the plan can be worked on and to be able to provide progress is really important. Um, as I was listening to the discussion, it did strike me, however, that while one of the four areas is focused on performing arts, um, none of you have some background or expertise or vast background or expertise in that area. So um, if there is an opportunity for us to participate in that conversation, that is our area of expertise. Or if there's somebody from library arts and culture who has some expertise in that area, I'm using that word a lot, um, mm -hmm. I think it would be great to have that person sit alongside the representing commissioner so that people can fully understand um, and engage in the conversation. And then as you start to promote this, please feel free to send us whatever information possible so that we can include it in our e-newsletters, our social media, and that sort of thing. Because it is important that the city reach out to your diaspora of, of folks through the planning process, but we certainly have a wide audience that we can reach out to um, that would be engaged. So again, thank you for continuing to work the plan and continuing to let the public know what's happening. And please feel free to let us know if there's any way we can assist in this process. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's a very good idea. Um, Marina. Ooh, it's so light. Marina uh, Chairperson Artunian. Vidor. Wait, she, Gary's Gary's Pardon? Chairperson Vidor. Yes. Um, so, uh, I think that's great that Ms. Glickman is uh, volunteering to participate in that group, yes. uh, and she is welcome to do that. Um, I do want to point out that uh, uh, Jennifer has extensive background in the performing arts, so we'll definitely assign her to that group. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Marina, you're not going to speak. Okay. Well, thank you for being here. Okay. So um, if either I or preferably Jennifer, <laughs> could summarize where we're at at this point with respect to the breakout sessions, and then we can continue on. I'd like to just have an interim summary just now so we don't repeat ourselves. Sure. So from my, the, from my um, notes, what I have is we're basically a uh, call to meeting to order. Number two, introductions and presentations would stay the same. A would be welcome and introductions with chair. B would be recap of the UAPP vision. Um, C and D would stay the same as far as what has been accomplished with the UAPP and then plans for 2020. And then there would be a um, truncation of three and four, which would be the four breakout sessions. Uh, it would be focused on citywide arts, neighborhood arts, performing arts, and arts and cultural events. One of each, um, each of the four commissioners would host a group. I would most likely host the performing arts group <laughs> based on the discussion just now. Um, and then we will also have staff members or note takers available. We'll have large post-it easels available to take notes during the session. So after this 20 minute uh, breakout session with groups, uh, group hosts per se, as we'll call them, will report out on what the groups have said in their discussion and Dr. Schaefer will close the meeting and adjourn. Okay. And the only addition I would make is um, one of you would host that performing arts, but Jennifer would be assigned to that group as the staff. Sure. Okay. Should we decide who's? Um, each group or? Uh, are we going to decide who would host each breakout at this point? Up to you. Okay. Do you consensus on that? Who wants dibs? <laughs> <laughs> Is it something that legally we can uh, arrange outside of the public um, sphere here? And okay, then I think we should probably do that. Yeah. Otherwise, we could get into a lot of discussion. If that's okay with you all. Really? Thank you. Okay. Um, so we will decide that <laughs> later. quickly. Later, well, no, now. I don't know. Not right now. Not no. Right now. He's, he's saying it can no. be decided later. Right. Right. That's what I. Yeah. Mean. Okay. I don't. All right, that's I what I understand. don't okay. think for her to get. Um, okay. Uh, she's going to get the publicity out very quickly, but I don't think we need to have the commission leader listed on the program. No. You can just have the 
you know, the groups. Okay. Um, so I think that was a great summary. Thank you. Um, should, do we need another round of comments before we close out the meeting? I have a question. Yeah. Uh, in terms of promotion, um, you know, as I said, you know, CARS had done a tremendous job last time, probably, you know, one of the best that, um, that I've seen around public art and the whole process in the last three years or so. So we're in touch with them, is that right? Yeah, and, and we have not we have not been in touch with CARS for this specific promotion of the January 9th meeting. We are constantly in contact with CARS and they're a great asset to the community, but not pr for promotion for this specific event. And I might add that we do have their email mm -hmm. list, so mm -hmm. we can send it out to everyone. And the contract is ended with CARS, so we are not, uh, we do not have an active contract with them. Their distribution list was turned over to the city. Mm -hmm. We do have that. Yeah, okay, so we have their distribution mm -hmm. list, and so it's gonna to go to their distribution list, our extensive distribution <laughs> list, plus the PR to the, to the press. Right. Those are the three main Correct. areas. Mm -hmm. And social yes. media. And social media, yes. Well, I, th I think there's another one. I think everybody on this dais here has a lot of contacts in the city and ha is on social media personally. Mm -hmm. And I think we should do whatever we can personally to promote this. And not just, I mean, yes, of course, the main thrust is going to be the, the city's promotion. <coughs> but everybody who's here should also promote it. And... You know, yeah, so and or give your names of people who you know to Jennifer so she can send it out if you don't want to do it. Or Jennifer, can we get like the um, the marketing package? Is there a marketing package that we can get so we can distribute it as well? There's not a marketing package per se, but we do have images like the GTV6 image that we have that I can send along to the commissioners and you can put into your email blast or social media as a kind of a quick promo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Any other comments? Comments? Okay, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, it's going to take two hours.